What's up, everyone? We're going back to another reaction. Today, we're hopping into a movie reaction. We're hopping into 13 going on 30. So, of course, I've done polls over on Patreon, and this is another movie that has a lot of votes in the polls. Um, and, yeah, it's one that everyone wants me to watch for some reason. Uh, they've been enjoying, I mean, you guys have been enjoying the uh, the romantic comedies, I guess, that I've been watching recently, and you guys want me to keep going, and this is one of the ones that was voted very highly so we're gonna check it out uh what i know about this movie jennifer gardner's in it um uh, the concept i believe is a 13 year old girl who makes a wish or something and then she wakes up and it's not 30 kind of like the movie big i think pretty seems pretty like a common like like a very easy thing to follow so i'm gonna assume it's that so we're going to hop in here, have a good old time, have some fun. I don't know anything else beyond the whole th turning 30 thing and Jennifer Garner. And then Jennifer Garner never really made a lot of movies, I feel like. Or not like a lot of big movies, right? Like, what, did she kind of fall off after a while? Like, I don't know if I've seen her in many things. She did Electra, right? And then after that, did a couple romantic comedies, I guess. I don't, I don't know. But we're going to hop in here every time. Here we go. As well, you know, Patreon for full reaction. Like, comment, subscribe. I don't think I did any of my rigmarole at the beginning, but there you go. We're hopping in. <clears throat> this is like, I think this was made in like 2004 when I, I um, was clicking on it, so... Actually, Mark Ruffalo can be the lover, because that'd be kind of creepy. Because in, no in, in Big, it was kind of oh, creepy. It's birthday. We got a document. <clears throat> I'll meet you out front, okay? Do whatever you want. It's not like she needs a play-by-play. -play. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what's happening? Why? Right. See ya. <clears throat> uh, Jenna, can I talk to you a tiny sec? I could write your report for you. Oh, God, you they're so. playing. That's why they're being nice to you. I'm guessing he's like in love with her. Yeah, I don't know what Mark Ruffalo's gonna play. It doesn't make sense. Oh, we're in the 80s? Did they give us a year? I didn't know what year we were in. Go away! What's wrong? Well, you will be, honey. What? Why would you want to be 30? Like, maybe be 25. Hell, be, be 22. This movie's set in the whole 80s. That's gonna be great. Jenna Dream House. Oh shit, that's so cool, bro. You, you built her. That's how you wake up the next day and you're 30. Dad, you promised you're gonna stay upstairs. Go. <laughs> <clears throat> Hi guys, the party's downstairs. You guys are just jealous of his cool dance moves. Robot. Nice. Do whatever you want, Matt. It's not like I need a play-by-play. -play. <laughs> the hell? Let's play seven minutes in heaven. Why you have to be? Um, why you have to be so mean for no reason. How does this, Grandy? You, know you guys are gonna like prank her, like put a pig or something in there, aren't you guys? Or some weird shit like that, right? Because they're mean. They're stealing her food. What the actual hell? Oh, this. Oh, this girl's awful, bro. I would ask her, like, why are you blindfolded? Like, I would ask questions. How are you? You think this girl's gonna kiss you, so of course you just go for it. Okay. She's... Yeah, the play What'd you do? I didn't Nothing. do anything. Yes, you did. No, I just wanted to to get my Casio. Get out! Wait, Jenna, please, just let me get talk out. to you. No! Flirty and thriving. Flirty and Is she just about to walk out, and this guy's just gonna see her turn into, like, a 30-year-old? <laughs> That's gonna be like. All right, not what I thought. She's just, what? I thought she was gonna turn 30 and like, like this whole shenanigans big style. This is not what this is. Oh shit, you gotta. Okay, this is not what I thought. It's like, it's like she time traveled into like her future self. Okay. Without me? <laughs> this is a dream. 
Oh yeah, cause wait, if she yeah, if she was a teenager in the eighties, that means that at least almost at least seventeen hey, years. You can join me if you want. I can't get in the car. I don't get in the car with strangers. Please get in the car. We're gonna be late. I can't get in the car. I don't know. Just get in the car. I can't get in the car with strangers. You're being late. I'm still here. I'm getting in a town car. Something really strange is happening. I, I slept in an apartment I've never seen before, and there was a naked man in my shower, and I. Oh, his thingy. Oh, God, not his thingy. <laughs> Could you please pull over? Did you hear it? Did you hear that? Would you stop being ridiculous? It's probably. I would think she's high. Say it. I am a tough. <laughs> I'm not going to let anyone know I'm hungover. But that's not the point. I'm not hungover. Right, baby. Who's your daddy? Wayne Reek. <laughs> she said Wayne Rick. That's funny. Sorry, Miss Frank. I thought you said never to bother you with family calls. I did, I said that. Please don't fire me. <laughs> oh, it's not your fault. I just I forgot that I said that. So Mark Ruffalo's gonna be mad. So he must she must have cut him off. Oh my gosh, she doesn't know how to get a cab. And I don't know if you're the right nap, but if, if you used to live on Spruce Street and if your favorite shirt is the gray velour one, then I need to speak to you right now, please. Hello, hello. hello. You're not Chinese. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> you're tall. You're different. Jenna. Hey. Yes. Jenna Ring. Yes. Matt, it's me. <gasps> I don't think he cares. Oh no, he does. What? We're not friends anymore, Jenna. Maddie, you're my best friend. No. <laughs> okay, it's cool. Glass of water. You want ice in that? I want a fluffy pillow. A fluffy Please. pillow coming right up. Okay, Sorry. a fluffy pillow it is. This is a big ass apartment. I thought it was gonna be like a one, like a studio. That's just kind of like a whole hallway. Jen, I think you should go back to your apartment. I'll... The most depressing years of my life. A high school yearbook. Matt, was I a six? Gen? Wait, what? How'd you I become a six? Gen? Gen? leader. How? Wait, what? What happened to their leader? There's Tom. Tom. I wonder what happened to her. Uh, last I heard, you guys are still pretty good friends. I think you actually even worked together. You got it all. Congratulations. I mean, she kind of did. I mean, you kind of ruined sure. your relationship with your family, it seems like. And you're kind of a mean person. How the hell did this happen? How did she become a six chick? Hello. Hi, Gramercy calling to confirm your limousine pickup for 830 this evening. I live a day cheap. I'll see you. Matt. Yeah. Had to back. Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh, man, I would love to know what happened. How she be how how she became a six chick and which six chick did we kick out? Like a lot like literally the last thing that happened was you got embarrassed. The sexy underwear. <laughs> cool dress. You look really young. <laughs> like, she looks like so, <laughs> like, it, like, I don't know. It's an interesting style. I like your shoes. Thanks. I like your dress. It's because they've got these incredible boobs to fill it out. <laughs> I like your bag. Random. Thanks. Are you sure? <laughs> um, I know. I mean, thank you. I mean, everybody won't come tonight, right? <laughs> I don't think she's so high. <laughs> Another pina colada, nice. It's having a good old time. Do I smell? Do you smell? Do I have bad breath? Am I malodorous <laughs> anyway? She's like trying to. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> running for the exit like someone set up a giant stink bomb. 
this dude had a this dude has thriller on the thriller album <laughs> she's about to do the dance this is about to be so awkward <laughs> By yourself too. <laughs> this many people know the thriller dance. Holy shit! He's noticing that she's like. Being different, or maybe he's having memories of how she screwed him over. She's like, my life is awesome. Oh my gosh, she left her credit card, her hats. Just bought mad shit and didn't even pay attention. Yeah. He is not. He's totally cute. That that dude. Dude looks like he's fifty. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What is <laughs> There's the no... Go out sometime? Oh my yeah, god. I'm gonna take off now. <laughs> time to go. What do you want to go to jail? I'm a bad guy. <laughs> Man, gross. No more Jack Reese. Hey, Tom Tom, how are you? You lost all your baby fat. <laughs> the stay warm in the winter. Yeah, good to see you again, too. You know, I almost didn't recognize you. Did you get a nose job? I can't believe you're here. What are you doing? Uh, sorry, I, I crack a lot of jokes after we win on account of because I'm in such a good mood. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I getting vibes okay, that she's well, sleeping uh, with him? She probably get going. Why am I getting those weird vibes? Nice I don't know why. Bye -bye. All right. Nice to see you, folks. Should I go to his place alone? Yeah. Why not? Go play. You deserve it. Play. He's like, are you gonna get the game? Oh, 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 oh. What? Oh. <laughs> Her reaction. <laughs> She's like. Uh, okay. And off the ice, ice, baby. You're wearing tidy whiteies, dog. Why are you? Wearing... <laughs> 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 Oh, look, look at her hair. Her hair looks super interesting. To the office, Tom. I feel like I, it's the things are so long, you'd hit your head. Seven ways to... Well, either we redesign and bring up our numbers. Or find the leak. Or they pull the plug. Or find the leak. Can redesign is a death sentence. No, it's not. It's a chance to have some fun. There we go. She doesn't like you for some reason. You brought Tracy her lunch. That's so sweet. Oh, that's why you... Oh my god, you were sleeping with him? What are you doing? What's wrong, Pookie? Pookie? Oh, shit. Her own and let her fall on her ass. You were so mean. You became such a mean person. Well, thank goodness. Maddie. What happened to us? What? I want to know. But I want to know, bro. How come we never stayed friends? You joined the six chicks. Now what happened? So you threw the dollhouse he made? That's crazy. You were mean. What in the world? If you were given one do-over of anything in your life, what would it be? <laughs> Nothing. Really? really? That's crazy. But did you ever make a... Okay. Oh, is she gonna come up with the idea to make the magazine more like a yearbook? I don't know if that would really work, but... I think photo shoot going on. Yeah. <laughs> What's happening? Did you bring them? Oh, yeah, I got a few. What? What do you got? I'm hiring you. Actually, Poise is hiring you for the week. I hope you'll do this with me. <laughs> what is it? I'm curious about what this magazine is going to be. I've seen your magazine. My stuff is not your style at all. It isn't right. 
So it, it's just a, so this is a cool theme magazine, like theme issue, but like you can't sustain a magazine on just this, right? Uh oh. And they're really good photos, but. Come on, I showed you mine. Showing you my tongue. Come on, I showed you mine. Mario, I need you. It's red as well. Yes, they'll be the same color. Oh, damn, she practically face planted it. I should have talked and rolled. Oh, I'm getting old. Oh, my God. She's at a. Oh my god! Yeah, this is... You know they won't go away. <laughs> <laughs> Do you love him? This Duh. Is fun. Heartache to heartache we stand. She's just love doing the lyrics. It's a battlefield. She's just doing the lyrics. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we are young. It's, if you're the parents of these girls, you don't find it weird. You're <laughs> like, the, the, these girls are all just having a sleepover at this 30 year old's house. <laughs> you're part of the team now, lady. Yeah, she's part of the team. Oh, no, excuse me. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't, I don't understand what it is. It's just super emo. Like I don't get it. It's like rock, punk rock. What is it? What is it? I don't understand what the magazine is. Guessing that's a giant no. Did you think that was a good idea proposal? Because maybe we didn't realize how much we were leaving behind. I don't I think I understand the magazine. <laughs> like, I somewhat understand what she, the, the concept of this issue, but I don't get how it's sustainable though. If we don't. So who's this mystery photographer? Matt Flanhart. Is he off or Martha? Oh, Matt, it's Matt. No, no, is he gay? <laughs> Are you gay? <laughs> <laughs> Those checks? What are these? What are, what is that? Oh, wait. You're the, you're the rap. Sparkle Magazine on Park Avenue? Matt, while I've got you here, do you want to sign a general release and maybe we can use your pictures in a catalog or something? Fine. Oh, she said, I don't get her character. Like, she's such a fucking. What was the point of that? Just to ruin her? Oh, that's great. Well, tell him when he gets back, he's just not getting his tux. I know. Men. Everything is the last minute. <laughs> I mean, hello, we're getting married tomorrow. Matt, you're kind of screwing over your fiance here a little bit, bro. Or a lot. <laughs> we want to feel something. Your photos showed up in Sparkle online last night. Today, they're in the outdoor ads everywhere. I mean, wow, what a bit. Pictures, those belong to us. She can't do it. And she is. That's why she wanted she him to release it. Yeah. Mmm. Wow, what an ass. What a like horrible what a horrible person. Punch her in the face. I might have told him something else too, but I just can't remember. Punch her in the face. No, we're not gonna hit her at all. Being the bigger person, I guess. I would have punched her in the face. Ah, oh, you were you, you really were just an evil person. So, so what are you doing? Are you, are you married? Mm. Oh, single, is this the guy that want a number? Is this the guy that you we went the prom with or whatever? I'm still living at home. Well, that's still. Come okay. on, Granny. Holy Christ! Mm. I'll take these. 
Yeah, I guess this is the way to do it, right? Hide your face. This is messed up what we're doing, though. <laughs> it's messed up. We're ruining her wedding. Whoever that was she was talking about wasn't me. Um, it doesn't matter what Lucy said. I stopped trusting her after she stole my pop rocks in the third grade. <laughs> Matt? Should I? No, oh, I'll be fine. I promise. Oh my god, a dream house. If he threw it, you threw at him. You kept it? Aww. It'd be so interesting, right? Because, like, <sighs> I can't see him ruining this wedding, but at the same time, like, it's what's probably gonna happen. I don't know how I feel about it. Maybe she just wakes up and she's back in that closet, and this time they just make different decisions. It does suck though, right? Because you 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 jump into this life that you find out, oh, I was a bad person. Like I wasn't like pure evil, but I wasn't a good person. And the per like you realize you love your best friend from back then, but like he is, he's lived out, he's just went on to live a different life. I wonder if she'll have all the. Will she have all the memories? Maddie. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, damn. If you're Maddie, you're like, what happened? He's like, all right, best birthday ever. <laughs> you really know what you're doing. Come on. Where are we going? Sorry, I forgot my scarf. You know what? You can Ooh. be the pot and kettle all by yourself from now on. Oh, shit. Damn. Oh, We're be she oh, called her a biatch. Oh my god, this is the photo that Ryan, uh, Ryan Reynolds has been sharing. And making jokes about it. <laughs> this is the photo from this movie. Definitely, like, I would have... I don't know. So what what ends up happening? Like, does she become... Does she, is she still the magazine editor? Did we get any clues there at the end? Like... She's still the magazine editor. She, those girls that were like hanging out with her, I thought maybe we would have been in the future and he would have, her, her daughter would have been, or not her daughter, like her friend or her, yeah, like she's like in that, that same apartment building and she's, I don't know, I thought there, there would have been something. Well, all right. I thought the movie was pretty good. I didn't think it was great or phenomenal or anything, but I thought it was pretty, pretty solid. You know, you saw everything coming for the most part. I mean, once I got past the, oh, it's not big, you kind of figured what was going to happen and everything, and they kind of kept all the similar steps. The things I did not expect was that he literally was going to be married. That was his path. And I'm glad they didn't do the whole him walking out on his wedding and be with her, because that would have kind of been like, that's, that's shitty. But I'm glad they just went back and they just changed their plan, like their path. I kind of wish we would have gotten to see what happens next. Like, I would have so been down for another, like, 20 minutes of them, of a mo like, a 10-minute montage or something of them living their lives through teenage years and to get into this point, seeing them be successful. I would have been so cool with that. Kind of sucks that they didn't do that. Um, yeah, she became a really bad person. I would have wanted to see why. Like, what everything that took every step, like, that happened. Because what we saw was he just explained what happened. She threw the house at him, <laughs> and then that threw their whole path in a whole different way. She became, but we don't know how she became one of the uh, six chicks or whatever. We don't know any other path to that. I thought the movie was cute. I thought it was funny. I thought the thriller stuff was good. I thought Andy Serkis's character was good. Uh, the Tom Tom girl, she was just mean the whole way. I thought maybe she might have turned into a nice person, but she was just mean the whole way. Yeah, we didn't really get too much with her, but what we did get with her, she was... Like, when she was doing the thriller thing, I was like, oh, okay. She seemed kind of nice, but then she was selfish, self-absorbed as well. Um, you know, Jenna was the one that was screwing over the magazine, so I guess if you're if you're that character, Tom Tom, what's her real name? What was her name? Uh, what's her name? 
mm, Lucy. Like if you're her, you'd like you're like, wait, I've been busting my ass this magazine while this girl is selling us out. Like or my my friend is selling us out. I guess I fully understand that part. You'd be like, damn, that's messed up. Uh, when it comes to Mark Ruffalo's character, cool. I never knew that he. I don't know why I never really seen a Mark Ruffalo movie from back in the day. At least I can't think of any from like. And I didn't know he was like into the rom rom com kind of stuff. So that's kind of cool that he was kind of doing stuff like that. I think I, oh, I I've seen a movie. I've seen him in that movie uh, Begin Again. That wasn't that. Old. That was like in 2015, I think. Like that's not that old. But yeah, and then Jennifer Garner. You know, I don't really see her in anything, so it's kind of cool to see her. Um back then and in a movie like this where she got to play this kind of character who it seemed so fun like it seemed like she was having a blast the entire time just enjoying every bit of it pretending to be a 13 year old girl the most funniest part of the entire movie was her walking up to that like 12 or 13 year old boy at the restaurant or bar like <laughs> and trying to flirt with him i thought that was awesome um I thought that the way that her idea for the magazine was cool for an issue. I didn't fully understand what the magazine was going to be. Like, are we going to use non-celebrities forever? Because that's definitely an approach that they seemed like they were going to take. But I don't know if that's sustainable either. Um, yeah, I liked, the, liked the, I liked her neighbor, the little girl. I liked that, that scene where they were all kind of hanging out and playing uh, Pat Banatar and all that. Love is a Battlefield. I thought that was cute. I thought that was fun. I thought her going to the, um, when she saw that people were being mean to her, I, I, I like her going back to her parents and sleeping in their bed and, uh, you know, remembering what it was like to be a kid, right? Because to her parents, she just, your daughter just became somebody that she never was, right? She became, or she be, she turned into a monster kind of, not really a monster, but like self a self-absorbed, selfish human being. I thought that was kind of cool and dope. Um, yeah, I, I actually liked that they didn't make, Mark Ruffalo's uh, wife mean either. I like that she was nice because it kind of made you be like, damn, what do you do? What happens here? Mark like has feelings, but he loves his his his, uh, his fiance. Um, I thought she was good. I feel like I've seen her in something. Where have I seen you? Seen you? I didn't see you. I thought I saw you in something. Guess not. Um. Yeah, but overall, solid good movie. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. We have a bunch of more that are going to be coming out, so hopefully you guys are excited about that. So, But I'm going to get out of here, and I'll talk to you guys later.